Welcome to the CBIA BizCast. I'm your host, Ali Warshavsky, and today on our podcast, we're learning more about a new Internet of Things lab at the University of Hartford that is sponsored by Hartford Steam Boiler. So Gordon Ho and Michael Roy of Hartford Steam Boiler are with us to explain the partnership and the Dean of UHart's College of Engineering, Technology and Architecture, Hisham Alanjar, joins us as well. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My first question is going to be for Hersham. For anyone who doesn't know, what is an Internet of Things lab? Uh, that's interesting. Think about things. What's things? Let's define. Things means everything you, we deal with. Your thermostat at home, your refrigerator. It could be a, uh, an air conditioning unit for a truck that's going on the road. It could be air conditioning unit for a hospital that keeps supplies. It could be anything. This is the things we are talking about. The internet of things is the science or the technology behind connecting them together so you can monitor them, you can troubleshoot, and more importantly, you can predict the behavior. So you can send, oh, that unit is not behaving. Let's fix it before it really breaks or let's not lose our products there. Imagine a, uh, a system where you store a lot of freezer, like a grocery store. They don't wanna wake up in the middle of the night and broke. If they can behave, uh, uh, predict the behavior, they will know what it is. So that's really what in general, the internet of things. Of course, you're gonna see definitions that says internet of things is this and that, but that's the bulk of it, if you will. It's connecting things we use daily or in business or in residential or in different units to the internet so we can monitor and predict the behavior. So basically keep the world running. is Keep is us running in a good way. And also could you look at it as saving? If you can predict the behavior of something and fix it, it's much better than waiting for it till it breaks. Look at our cars. They are fully almost monitored. How do you connect that to a central location where you can do it? This is, again, in general, we will hear more about some niche, niches or some areas, specific areas, like what the Hartford Steam Boiler does and other do in this area. And this question for Gordon or Michael, why bring HSB to UHART? Why partner like this? Yeah, so I'll start off. Um, you know, HSB... Uh, is just really fully committed to the greater Hartford area and its continued economic growth, its cultural foundations and workforce development. And we're really proud to actively support the communities where we live and work. And, and we do so through a number of partnerships, uh, Connected Science Center, Makerspace, CT, Upward Hartford, Metro Hartford Alliance, and of course, the University of Hartford. Uh, we, we strongly support UHART's continued expansion growth and, and just perceive it as being a crucial part of our Hartford community. And while no doubt that's in part of business relationship, we definitely have so many uh, alumni and general people who, who serve on uh, various things associated with UART, you know, the board of regents uh, across the schools, and we're committed to its success and, and how it'll move forward in the future. And we imagine being part of that. And so um, we're really excited that this investment and sponsor of the sponsorship of the HSB IoT Lab at the Hersey Center, along with so many other things that we're doing across the business and engineering schools at UHart, um, just really awesome to be a part of this university's long-term story. Um, pass to Mike. What are your thoughts on this topic? At, with um, you know the University of Hartford, uh, for us has always been a strong partner on the engineering side. So within the engineering group, we've worked with the the College of Engineering and sponsored uh, senior engineering capstone projects uh, for a number of years. Uh, and it really allows us to interact with the student, uh, gain some unique insights, I think, and expose the students to some real world engineering uh, applications and opportunities. And University of Hartford has always been supportive um, and proactive in that relationship and it's been great. And it just opened, correct, in August? That's correct. The lab- How's it going? We have, we have a new lab. Uh, you know, the Hersey Center adds a different dimensions for us. It gives us opportunities that we did not. 
expand in the area of engineering, of course, in the health professions. Also, it gives us the opportunity to add other spaces and other buildings. So this lab uh, just opened in um, August. We are, uh, you know, because of the, what's happening nationwide or worldwide, we are behind in uh, equipping it. We have items are still on back orders, but day by day it's getting better and we are uh, using it. And it's, uh, it provides our students with a great opportunity that we did not have uh, before. And we're talking about engineering and technology. Now, some in the Hartford area might be familiar with HSB as an insurance company and look at it through that lens. Why is HSB sponsoring something with technology and engineering? Yeah, I'll, Go ahead, Mike. I'll, I'll take that to start. Um, so HSB is first and foremost a technology company. Uh, we insure technology, equipment, and machinery. Uh, we also use technology to manage our risk and help our client partners understand and manage theirs. Um, we see in Internet of Things is really a transformative technology for many industries and many companies, uh, including HSB. Uh, the ability, as Hisham had said, to gain information and insights on how equipment's operating at the time and intervene uh, before the accident happens or before uh, before the loss happens becomes very powerful. Uh, and I think this partnership allows us to work with uh, the next generation of engineers uh, to help us solve problems and develop innovative solutions. Uh, and also helps us to you know, gain better insight on, on where IoT is going in the future because these are the engineers that are gonna be taking uh, it from its infancy today you know, to really the powerful tool of business, you know, over the next five or 10 years. Um, but, you know, I think what's really important is to know that HSB has always been about this unique intersection of technology and engineering insurance since our founding in the 1860s. And it is often true that I'll go into meetings and people who really know us think of us as being the original insure tech, you know, because we have that focus. And and the fact that we have half of our staff really being engineers or some kind of technical staff. And, and from, from a business perspective, um, HSB is just all in on IoT. You know, we, we believe in its impact on the future of our company, uh, the insurance industry, its ability to transform risk, and, and obviously its ability to transform local economies and communities. And, and it's within that context that our investment and sponsorship uh, and really the long-term development of this IoT lab is, is, an, is an example of our commitment to that idea. And, and we're excited to see it fulfill its potential in the coming months and years. Which leads me into my next question, Gordon, is does this help you gain talent? I know so much of the discussions around CBIA lately have been about a workforce shortage and an underprepared workforce. Does this help you um, with your next generation of new hires? Yeah, I definitely think so. You know, we, because we live and breathe IoT every day uh, here in Hartford, around the country and, and globally through our partners at Munich Re, um, we know how understanding IoT and really having experience in IoT is a pretty precious resource right now. It's fairly limited, you know, the number of people who have that experience. And so by collaborating with UHART and, and enabling this IoT lab, we're hoping that we're fostering the next generation of IoT leaders, right? And really enabling them to leverage the technologies that we're working on, to have them do R&D and develop applications that we would care about, giving them the core knowledge and skill sets to succeed. And by helping to set that standard, establish some baseline curriculum, really nurture that talent, we know that those students will eventually become a part of our ecosystem, ideally working for HSB, but even if not as direct talent, be in partnerships with other companies we'd be working with in the future. Michael, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, I, I think as an insurance company, when we talk about insurance, people think of health insurance or life insurance or auto, and it, it can sometimes be difficult to attract engineers because the two don't seem in most people's minds to go along together. You know, as an engineer, why would I work for an insurance company? What do they do? And I think this opportunity allows us to expose a whole new generation of engineers uh, to opportunities in engineering beyond what they may have come in with preconceived you know, ideas of, 
of working, designing cars uh, is I think almost every student who comes in, you know, that's their ideal job. I want to work for NASA. I want to de design cars or rocket ships. And this, this gives us an opportunity to work with up and coming engineers and expose them to really the breadth that is an engineering career once you get your degree. And, and for us, being technology focused, uh, I think it really opens up uh, the student's perspective of, of how engineering fits into that. And as Gordon said, even if they don't come in to work directly at HSB, I think as we work with them in their industries, they have a better understanding of, of, of insurance when it comes to boiler or technical insurance, equipment breakdown insurance. Um, and it, it makes them a, I think it makes them a more well-rounded engineer, uh, even outside of, you know, our company. And Hisham, I see you nodding your head a lot. Has, you know, the kind of students you see when they come in freshman year or maybe um, uh, sophomore year, are, are they saying, oh, I want to work here and here and here, and you're kind of opening up their eyes to these other opportunities that are local, um, that maybe there's a misconception of where they need to work as an engineer as to where they can work as an engineer? Of course, I, you know, 17 years old come in with an idea, I wanna be an engineer and I wanna design a car only. Uh, so this type of partnership, this type of connection and the ability to bring industry in and see that this partnership, it will open their eyes. It will say, oh, there are other options besides designing a car or working on a power line or working for construction. There are lots of opportunities. So when they hear that, you know, we are monitoring the latest, uh, the behavior of an engine. So we know when to take it for repair or maintenance. Uh, is this something for engineers? It's like what we talk about. Uh, we have engineers who graduate and work for UPS. It doesn't mean they are driving the truck. They are designing the internet of things, the sensor that they push your package and my package to the right uh, track, to the right track, to the right airplane, to arrive and sort them again. So this is what the uh, this type of uh, connection and partnership bring. For us as a medium-sized university uh, that uh, focuses on teaching and focuses on the student's outcome, Anytime we get this opportunity is great because that will lighten our students. To partner with the InsureTech, uh, insure to a partner with the company that's at the forefront of this industry, it's, it's like, wow, this is something will we'll, uh, show our students, first, we care about them. Second, industry care about their education. They care, it's like we are coming in, the resources, the support and the technology behind it. Uh, look at the people you are talking to. They are there every day doing the work. When they talk to our students, somehow, which is reality, they are not more knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the current technology than us. We are teaching the principal, we are teaching the background, we are teaching the analytical, but they are in the trenches every day doing the latest design and doing the troubleshooting. That's very important in education. And that's what type of, this type of partnership bring to our class, bring to our students. And they see it is not singing our song alone in the backyard and we will be engineers, but no, we'll be engineers that we are prepared to work in, in, in the industry that the people we are talking to such as Hartford Steam Boilers and other uh, entities. And obviously you've been in the lab because you're there on campus, but Gordon, Mike, have you been able to walk through? I know that it's still in progress because of the supply chain issue, but have you walked through? What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, uh, I, was, I was very fortunate along with some other members of the HC team to attend the grand opening of the Hersey Center and, and obviously got to see the IoT lab. Um, but amazing day, really exciting to see the energy that was there and, uh, and to walk through the Hersey Center building uh, to see all the various things that were going on. Uh, you know, you had an aerospace engineering department and they had like turbines, you know, you had another construction engineering department and it was literally like two floors lab. Um, 
you had people doing uh, dental and it felt like dental or, or physical therapy things. And then, you know, this, to be a part of that ecosystem and, and, and this beautiful building, I couldn't be more excited about the potential of what we're doing there, right? And, and, and as I look into the coming weeks and months and as Mike shepherds that effort, you know, what the lab will be and how it in, uh, enables this new level of education, uh, this cost multidisciplinary opportunity is, is really exciting. And, and I look forward to its continued growth. Do you think partnerships like HSB with you, Hart, help secure Hartford as the insurance capital of the world? Because the industry is just changing, the world is just changing so much in the past year and a half. Um, it would be nice to keep that title, I think, in Hartford. I, I can answer part of the question. I think when you prepare the talent, when people know there are talents being prepared for that type of uh, business, people will continue to think of Hartford as the place to get the talent. And maybe that's where we want to stay to do the business because we can get the talent. And that's what we are doing. And I think Gordon mentioned on the area of the interdisciplinary, this is not just engineering. This is going to bring in business, going to bring computer science, going to bring other majors into this area because it is technology and finance and data analysis and risk management. So it's really multidisciplinary. So we are preparing the talent for the insurance industry. I'm sure uh, they, uh, Hartford Steam Boiler can answer about their business and how they see uh, Hartford. Yeah, Michael, go ahead. Yeah, I think um, it, it does keep us at the forefront because working with leading institutions like University of Hartford, where being a small school, they can really focus on, on the needs and the partnerships in the community. So what's, what's very exciting is when we look to the problems that we need to solve as an insurance industry, you know, we can work with the University of Hartford and help develop certificate programs and curriculums that, that really tailor to our needs. And I think that helps you know, overall make us uh, stronger as a, as a region. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Obviously, Hartford has always been the insurance capital of, of the U.S., if not the world. And the things that have been happening here over the past few years uh, only reinforces that. Um, the type of partnerships I'm seeing um, across, you know, uh, academia and industry, uh, nonprofits, uh, the insure tech community, corporate venture capital, uh, it, it's an ecosystem that needs to foster and grow. And, and we're excited to be a part of it. And this partnership with the University of Hartford to create this IoT lab is just really that latest example. Um, I think that when I look at what Mike's team and, and other members of the HSB community will be doing and, and supporting through the University of Hartford, um, it's amazing, right? The idea that you're gonna create this cutting edge curriculum uh, and create this entirely new educational experience, we really think that it's um, gonna be unparalleled in Connecticut, um, the Northeast, and, and maybe even across the country because I don't think everyone's try to do this in this way before. Um, you know, from an HSB perspective, we're really creating uh, an opportunity for our team to uh, work with academia here, work with students, bring entrepreneurs and executives into the classroom, really doing the things that uh, any leading company should be doing. And we're, we're excited to do our part, right? And so um, I'm looking forward to the things that we've talked about today and, and coming back in, you know, say six months and, and telling you more about what's been happening, right? Um, after a semester has gone by. Yeah, it'd be nice to hear from the students and see them work too. And I think that it's partnerships like this that really develop and build a better workforce here in Connecticut. So thank you so much for joining us and thank you for listening to this week's BizCast. You can listen and subscribe to our podcast on Apple or YouTube. And for more episodes, visit cbia.com.